Well guys, I just made it back here into this really nice uh, small pine tree plantation back here on our property. There's always lots of rabbits running around through here. I saw a nice trail here that has a fresh set of rabbit tracks on it. So that one there is pretty, pretty beaten down, as you can see. There's all kinds of intersecting trails around here. So I'm thinking I'll put one there first. That'll be the first spot. Keep my eyes open too, because you never know when you might see one sitting around. That'd be a nice bonus. But uh, we got my tripod set up and uh, show you guys how to make a snare. I was just about to set up my snare in a spot there, but oh, I looked over and there was a rabbit sitting there. I think I hit him, but it didn't look like a good hit, so we're just going to uh, follow his trail now. I'm sure I'll run into him again. Usually they don't go too far, but uh, yeah, it was a clean shot. I might have just shot a little bit too high, but that's hunting, so I'll walk in there and we'll, we'll see what happens here in a sec. Caught him that time, guys. That was a little bit unexpected. I was just about to set my snare right in the spot there. Looked up and I could see his, uh, just the top of his head and his ears. But uh, not sure what happened with the first shot, if I hit it or not. The second one, I definitely got him. And, I mean, he was, he was pretty darn far too, but I got the 17 HMR sighted in pretty, pretty pinpoint. So anyway, there he is. Beautiful rabbit, and uh, I'll pick him up there and I'll get the tripod set up so you guys can take a better look. But right on though, it's a bonus for sure. We'll be snaring this guy tomorrow. Well, here's a better look at the bonus rabbit. Gorgeous rabbit, big adult rabbit. Yeah, that was pretty awesome. I wasn't expecting to see one, but I mean, I guess if you're following trails, you gotta lead to, lead to a rabbit. So I'm pretty pumped about that. It's great, it's gonna be great for the stew pot there. Again, I got him with the 17 HMR. This uh, Ruger American, 17 HMR, very good rifle. It's great for shooting rabbits and partridge. And I got a loop-fold uh, loop scope on it as well. So I could see him crystal clear. Oh, well, that's great. Let's get back to snaring, I guess. Quick little, uh, little break here before, before I set the snares, but that's awesome. We'll take it any day. Right on. Okay guys, well after a quick interruption there with the rabbit, take my snare wire here. So see how it's kind of like, uh, it's kind of kinked up a little bit. I'll just take my knee, rub it on my knee a couple times just to straighten it out. Now it's nice and straight. Take one end of the wire and I bend it back and just form a little loop right there. So I'll hold it down. And then you just wrap it around the main wire there. And then once you've done that, it's pretty easy. Take the other end of the loop, slip it up through there. Then you just form the size of your circle. You just want it big enough so just their head fits in there. But uh, yeah, just like that, we're, uh, we're all set. There's a squirrel jumping around in the tree right here. But, uh, perfect, so I found a trail, not far from where I shot that one rabbit. Goes right underneath the base of that tree there. So I'm just gonna bring the camera a little closer while I set it up. 
Okay. You want to find a good firm base to tie it off to. So this one here is pretty solid. That's going to hold the rabbit for sure. So we'll slip it up there. Take the end of the wire that isn't the loop. Circle it around the tree once. And then you just twist the end and just make sure it's nice and secure onto the tree. That's all I'm doing right now, just giving it a little twist. Really windy out today. Yesterday was much nicer, but I mean, it's hard to have a bad day out here. So all I do now is put the snare at my desired height. And just kind of, kind of envision a rabbit when it's uh, running around, just kind of the height of where its head will be at. So I think that's pretty good. Right there. Okay, now after you do that, it's important to put a couple guide sticks just on the edge of the snare. Because you want that rabbit to make sure that it goes straight in there head first. I'm just going to break off a couple sticks. Just blend them in there. something like that. Get a closer view of it now. So there we go, the rabbit's gonna hopefully come cruising up that trail and get stuck in our snare. I'm just gonna clean up some of the sticks here, maybe put a couple more kickers and that'll be good to go. It's definitely a high traffic zone here. So I found one other trail, not far from where I parked the sled that just crosses across the road here. So I'm thinking I'll put one right on that little stick right there. That looks like a good high traffic area. So I'll get to that and I'll show you guys the finished product. There's snare number two. Hopefully in the morning there's gonna be a rabbit sitting in there. Now again, like anything, it's totally possible we might not get one. But, you know what, it's fun to do. It gives you something to look forward to in the morning. And gives us some good rabbit meat if something does happen. <laughs> so I'm just gonna hop back on the sled and we'll go find a different spot to put the third one. There's snare number three. So that's the last one for our competition there. It's on a nice intersecting trail here. There's some fresh tracks on it as well. So there we go, we got both snares laid out. Now it's just a, it's just a waiting game. We'll check them in the morning. We'll see what we got. And until then, I'll just putz around a bit, maybe try to look for another rabbit or two, or just go for a cruise on the sled. But I'll uh, head back to the cabin now and meet back with the boys and yeah, see what's, uh, what's on the agenda for the rest of the day. Go back to the cabin here, and holy man, it's windy. It's crazy. Got a nice sunset coming on though over there. Can't beat that. Also, looks like my buddy got a rabbit too. He's got a 17 HMR, so that's great. 
That's awesome. Two rabbits down for the day. I'll go in and I'll uh, find out the story. <laughs>